All right. Today we're going to discuss gifts, gifts and favorites, and favorites that I'm going to give as gifts, and new things, and interesting things, and it's going to be a whole melange of, or a, a melange, or should it be a, there's another word, and I can't think of it, uh, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's go. First thing, you know, last week we were talking about uh, organizing. Well, so I got some more organizing stuff and it's a little bit funny, but see this, this is something, is this funny? This is something you would never imagine me buying because I would get something very kind of contemporary and very um, architectural and very simple. But I saw this and I mean, it's plastic. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's not expensive, but I needed something big. I'm tired of all of these small, small containers. And I, I put my, um, my caviar sticks in here. And as I say, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I think it's hysterical and I've ordered more because it's big and I can put more stuff in it as opposed to small and I can't put more stuff in it. So this is something I just got and I love it. Now what I'm going to do, see all these caviar sticks? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red, red, what is this called, nail polish, and I'm going to put a dot on the ones that I use the most so it's easier to find. But I thought this was, so this is a new thing and would I give this as a gift? Why not? I think it's fun. So this is one. And then I got another one, wait a second. And I got this also, this doesn't go with anything on my vanity, but again, it's something different. I'm so tired of, what's it called? Plastic? Um, plastic? Um, whatever it's called. If it isn't plastic, whatever it is. Do I have it here? No, but I'm tired of them. So I, I got this also at Amazon and this has stuff for my eyebrows. Who knew you needed so many things for your eyebrows? But it's got what? This is, oh, this is mascara, and this is uh, eyebrow tinting color stuff. What is this? This is, if this was my girlfriend, Judy August, uh, the Everything Pencil. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Um, and these are all sorts of pencils for my, for my eyebrows. So this is, I went from having one little simple thing, then you become, a beauty influencer, and now I've got more eyebrow stuff than I know what to do with. Well, maybe I know what to do with. Okay, so I got this. Again, I'm just so tired of the, I know the word I was looking for. I'm tired of acrylic stuff. So I wanted to get something a little outrageous because that's kind of me. Um, but let's talk about some, oh, now a couple of things I just bought and that, and I haven't even tried it yet but I'm so tired of my hair coming in my face when I wash my face at the sink. So I've seen all of these beauty influencers using fun, whoops, fun stuff like this. So I got one of these and I'm going to use, well, I got a whole container of them. Um, so I'm gonna start using these for when I wash my face. I think they're fun. I don't know if I'd give it as a, I'd give it to a teenager. Um, but it's really, um, I need something, right? So I think this would be a great gift for teenagers. Why not? I guess a grown up. Um, but there, it's a fun kind of thing, kind of thing. Um, oh, remember last week we were talking about salt? Okay. And then I realized one of my favorite salts I, is Lowry's. Now, I think that if you lived on the West Coast, Lowry's used to be owned by Vandekamps, and it was one of these things that you grew up in California, at least in Los Angeles, and you always used Lowry's seasoned salt. I love this stuff. I use it all the time, and I think it makes a, a wonderful difference, and you're going to say, what difference? I know, I think it's, oh, it says no MSG added. I thought it did, but it's got a combination of salts, and it's really a great salt for seasoning everything. I love this. I put it in my eggs. I put it in my chili. I put it in my 
I just had made pea soup. I put it in soup. I use, this is a great salt. Love this. And then another one. Remember, we were, would I give this as a, a gift? No. Okay. But I had to continue with the salt. This is going to be quite a conglom conglomeration of stuff. Um, remember we were talking about Maldon, Maldon sauce, salt and that it's um, established 1882 and that it's, it's uh, the one that uh, uh, um, Queen Elizabeth used, but I never mentioned that they had smoked salt. I didn't even focus on that. But this, so I, I, I ordered salt. Maybe I ordered too much. You know, sometimes you order things and you don't know what the, what the size is going to really be like. How big is this? I, don't, I think I'll have this for the rest of my life. Um, let's see. I don't know how big it is. Uh, I don't know, but it's really big. But I tasted it. And can you see that it's all of these flakes? But I tasted it. And it's wonderful. It's not quite as salty as the the uh, regular. Um, it's got a smoky flavor, and I can't. I just got it this afternoon, and I can't wait to try it. It's really, it's a very. It really tastes good. But it's the idea that it's smoked salt. It, it's really delicious. So I'm gonna, you know, get some smoked salt. You might even want to give it as a gift. You know, get some Maldon and get a salt holder. And what a great gift for somebody who's a cook. I think that it's a great gift. Of course, I love everything having to do with cooking. So um, this with a little salt cellar, great idea, if I do say so myself. Okay, staying in the kitchen, I love this. And I, I, re I remember I would give this as a gift just because I love this. You know, I'm always slicing things. I, any excuse to slice something. So I love this. Uh, it's OXO and it's like a mini mandolin. Love this. Love it. So I, this is a great gift also. Um, something else that I think anybody, well, that anybody would love. And it's to hold your lipsticks. I love these. I've now got three of them. And it's wonderful. I know that these are my Tom Fords. I know that these are my Lisa Eldridge. I keep the, the various um, brands, um, you know, together. I love this. Uh, this, would you give it to a teenager? Would you give it to your mother? Uh, would you give it to your mother and then include like maybe three fabulous lipsticks that you think that that person would love? That's a great idea. You know, wrap it with a ribbon and lipsticks. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, I would have loved somebody giving this to me. So I, this is something that I, I use all the time. It's on my vanity. I love this. I love it. Um, and I love the idea of, of putting, salt, putting some uh, lipstick in it. And it doesn't have to be Tom Ford. It can be Revlon. Did you know that, what is that? You know the Tom Ford that I love? Cherry Lush. If you look at Revlon's Cherries in the Snow, they're almost exactly alike. So go for a Revlon. Go for some other brand. A lot of people love the Maybelline. Doesn't matter, but I'd put some lipsticks in there and this lipstick holder, and it's a lovely gift. You know this, this roundabout to hold all your makeup or all your skincare? It's been fabulous. I have loved it because I keep all of my stuff on there and it's easy to find and I turn it around. I've, I've really enjoyed this. So this would be another great gift. Um, also check out Sephora's gifts. You know, they have, they'll have one of all of their uh, mascara. They'll have one of perfume. They'll have one of, 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 of a whole makeup. I think they have Tatcha's whole makeup. They'll have mass, uh, just, they have these, these packages. And those are wonderful gifts also because they're not really very expensive and they, it gives you a chance to try out new and exciting things. I mean, it's really fun. I got the, um, somebody gave me a gift of the mascaras. I loved it. 
and I, I used each each one of them and I'd try it out and say, you know, I'd you know, use it for a few months and then I'd try another one of them, loved it. Another lovely gift for, and I think I discussed this last week, but I, my husband has this, I have this, I've got this in my studio, I've got this, where else do I have it? In the kitchen, in the studio. This is a great gift for anybody with a computer, uh, with an iPhone, and who doesn't have an iPhone these days? So this is another great gift. And this is a gift for somebody you don't know what in the world to get them. I've got a couple of nephews that I have no idea what to get them, but I think this would be a great gift, okay? This is for, you put your iPhone here, right? You put your iPhone here. And I, as I say, this is great. Now, an, another couple of things, and I just got it today. Um, I got myself a Mr. Coffee warmer. And the reason, you know, now I drink coffee, but even for tea, I get so tired. You know, I'll start drinking my coffee, something will interrupt me, and then I, I need to, I, then I need to, you know, warm my coffee up. I don't like doing it in the microwave. But I, but this would keep it, my um, coffee, you know, warm. So I just, again, this was just delivered today. But this is a Mr. Coffee, and it can keep your coffee warm. Who would this be good for? It'd be great for a teacher. It would be great for, um, you know, maybe an older person, you know, who kind of sips coffee all day. This is great for a sipping, a, a person who sips coffee all day. And I don't sip coffee all day. But I like to keep it warm as opposed to it gets cold by the by the time I get to it. So I think this is a great gift. Now, something else. Um, I, so I can't tell you who I'm giving this to because a lot of them watch my videos. But I think a great gift for a woman is this Moroccan uh, uh, body souffle. It, I, I just used it like an hour ago. Your body, you smell so good. This is that original Moroccan oil scent. I love it. And you can see, I, I, think, I think I mentioned last week that I think this is my third, um, but you see how I use it up so easily. My hands get so dry. Oh, it feels so good. Ooh, wait a second. Um, but I think this is a great gift. So I'm going to give this to a number of women. Um, well, if you're in, in my book club, would you not listen for a while? Uh, so, so we're having a, what is called White Elephant at our next, uh, you know, gifts at our next book club. And so this is what I'm going to do for White Elephant. And I'm not even sure what White Elephant means. I never did get that. I missed that class of white elephant tree, uh, but I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to give this as a gift, and uh, I'm also going to give it to a number of my nieces, and I think that they'd really love this uh, because everybody's dry, aren't they? So it's it's great. All right. So this this is a, another uh, I think just excellent uh, gift. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot there's something really important for you to give to anybody living alone, an older person, or just an older person, even a younger person, and that's an eye watch. And you're going to say, why? Because, well, recently I went up to, I was in Santa Barbara, I fell down, and the watch said, it sounds like you fell down, are you okay? And I said, yes. And it said, do you need an ambulance? And I said, no. And uh, are you sure you're all right? And I, I said, yes. But it knew that I fell down. It was ready to send me an ambulance. And I think that it, these days, you know, we're all so far apart. We are, we're all spread so far apart. If you have one of these watches and you wear it and you have it all, it, you, it, it, it can take care of you. The only thing it can't do is make you breakfast, but it but it will let people know, and I think it it lets your important people, your favorites, know that you've fallen down, you need an ambulance, you need care. So this is really amazing. This can be a lifesaver. You know, last year there was a woman who helped me, and 
I didn't know her very well. I didn't know her personally very well, but she was enormously helpful to me. And I wanted to get her a really wonderful gift. And I couldn't, I didn't know her. I didn't know what she liked. I didn't know, I, I, I was just stumped for what to get her. And then I thought, what is really nice? What's a really giving gift? And I decided to write her a, a very special thank you note. Who writes thank you notes anymore? And especially one, a one where you can, you know, mention all of the specific and personal ways that that person has helped you. So I want to encourage you to write a thank you note to somebody that has done something special for you this year, somebody who means a lot to you this year, that that's one of the nicest gifts you can get. When was the last time you got a heartfelt thank you note? I think it means a lot and I think it's a wonderful gift. Another wonderful gift is giving some of your time to go walking with somebody, play cards with somebody, play a game with somebody, somebody who hasn't seen you in a while, to give your time to somebody. That's another, you know, really good gift. I mean, I would love it if one of you would come over here and play either Rummy Q or Quirkle or play cards with me. I can't get my husband to do it. I could, of course, I haven't had time to do it either. I have a, um, so the head of my book club recently had uh, surgery and I went over there, brought a you know, big pot of soup for her. Um, and she, I didn't know this, but she loves playing games. We spent the whole afternoon playing Rummy Q. We had the best time. And what a memory, what a gift. So I'm encouraging you to give your time give your enthusiasm, give, give of yourself as a gift, because that really is a gift. So I think that's about it. So as I say, the holidays are coming. Give, give of yourself, give, make donations. I know that um, when my husband had his company, he would give individual, he would, he would donate money in that person's name to, I think it was Children's Hospital, and that was his way of giving gifts. And I must say, you are all a gift to me. I appreciate all of your um, comments, all of my new followers. You've, it, it's been a joy and getting to know you. I, believe it or not, I remember a lot of your names and see it many times. And it's just a treat and a pleasure getting to know you all. So thank you. Thank you. And I hope this helps you with some ideas.